Did you know that students who have a healthy breakfast in the morning register a lower rate of abscess? Now, who all want that? Like my mother, she always used to say, have a heavy breakfast, a light lunch, and even a lighter dinner. You know, we should also always encourage our students to do something similar. We should also further tell them to sleep early and stay away from their electronic devices, especially before sleeping, and replacing gadgets with exercise. I know what you're thinking. It's not easy to pull them out of the gadgets. Believe me, I, I face it in the schools and I face it at my home. But we must keep trying. We must encourage them to exercise more often. We can design classroom activities that involve movement, play with them some games at school, cheer for them when they participate in the tournaments, talk about our favorite teams, successful athletes, and healthy diets. And that way, they follow and integrate these topics in their own daily lives. We can further even integrate these topics in our daily lessons. What we are doing there is we are conditioning their minds, bringing in more stimulus to talk about daily habits. So as we've discussed earlier, students would look up to us. So we need to show them that being active and healthy is important to us too. Share with them why you choose to walk to school sometimes. What kind of activity you do over the weekend or about how much you like playing that sport. Basketball, badminton, something that you enjoy. You know that engaging in a sport not only helps children's physical development, it also enhances their mental development and plays a big role in keeping them away from destructive activities like drugs. And finally, don't forget to encourage good personal hygiene habits to minimize risk of picking up infections. Students must learn to wash their hands for at least 20 seconds before eating and learn the importance of brushing their teeth regularly and properly. On a second level, we can include health information in our lessons. These can be integrated in science lessons as we learn about the food pyramid, benefits of fruits, vegetables, and healthy portions, or language lessons where students can research useful health information or reading essays on health or maybe biographies of athletes, or in math lessons where students can read food labels, form equations, and even find their BMI and evaluate it. Then, once they have read science, English, maths, all these things, suggest them healthy options. Let them learn about athletic world, you know, and not just knowing about the world, tell them what the world records and ask them to start comparing them. This would really make a lot of difference. Further, we can also include periodical health tips in the school magazine and social media platforms. How about creating with your students a healthy slogan or mantra for your own classroom? So healthy habits can not only be included in lessons, but also special events and activities. These special events and activities can be designed to raise awareness. For example, you know, imagine there's a diabetes awareness campaign or a cancer fundraising event, a marathon for health, a hygiene campaign, healthy food sale day at school. You know, these are different things that can be done. We can also plan for fun activities, competition and games that help raise awareness and develop healthy habits. And wherever possible, please do include the parents. That really makes things a lot of fun.